Hi, my name is Aurelien Dufour and today I'm going to teach you how to make a shark tube board at home. So you're going to start like with a soft one to the spiciest one and before you serve, you keep it outside 15 minutes to be a room temperature. It's very important. So you have like a cherry pate, sausage, zuriette and ham. We're going to use a, a knife very sharp because if you use like a knife, a bread knife, you're gonna broke the terrain. So we need to have something very sharp and very thin. Never push the knife like that because you can see the terrain, you're gonna broke everything. So you need to slice like a piece of wood slowly, you have time, and you take your hand on the front, it's not gonna broke in two pieces. I like to have like nice cubes on my board. So I'm gonna cut like one inch lines. Now we're going to cut the pâté en croûte. We're going to use a bread knife because we have the pâté brisé, uh, pâté brisé outside. So it's like a, a crust outside, so we need to have something with some cheese on it. And a piece of wood again. So also you can do like triangles, a bit bigger. So you can see each guest going to have blood sausage, pork tenderloin, and a piece of foie gras. All the flavor is going to be married on one bite. But it combined, it's 50% uh, of pork livers and 50% uh, of uh, pork jowl. The riad is one of the easiest one to do at home because you just need like a piece of meat. So we have a pork shank brine and cook 16 hours. So we're gonna take out the skin on first. It's gonna be pretty hot. We have some fat, we're gonna take it out also because we're gonna add some olive oil on the end. So it's like pretty pink meat, it's like very soft and juicy. Egg plain, zucchini, and tomatoes. It's gonna give like a nice flavor of Provençal from south of France. After you can like show us the quantity you wanna put inside to add to the meat. A bit of salt we're gonna add. You can use all, all vegetable you want. It's just like your imagination. That's the, the magic with the shark that you can use everything what you want. With paper. Some olive oil. So this one is a saucisson sec. Outside is just a flower. It's like a bacteria, but a good one. It's gonna give you a lot of flavor. When you cover a saucisson sec, to have like very thin slice, to give like a small incision on the top, turn around with a knife. You see it's coming out by itself. Very easy. Thin slices. So you can see like a slice. It's like a piece of paper. So we have the jambon pari, the ham. So very important for the jambon pari is to have something very thin. If it's too too thick, you're not gonna have like a lot of flavor. And also you can ask a butcher to, to slice it for you, but you can also mention you're gonna have a very thin slices. It's nice to have a piece of bread with like a terrine or a pate to have like an accompaniment. You can use fresh bread, fresh compagne, fresh levain, something like artisanal. So we like to use for the presentation a wood ball, very tradition, and to have like a harmony also for the presentation with all the sharks we have. So I'm gonna start with the rabbit terrine, one of the corner. Up to we're gonna have the pâté en croûte. Put the fromage de tête. We have the campagne. Some nice slice of saucisson sec. The jambon de Paris, you can give like some volume to the board. A few pieces of bread. I like to add a little bit of green to give a nice color. So the riette, I'm just gonna put in the middle. What's very important is also with the shark tree ball, it's to have condiments. The most important is to, to have like a, a nice presentation. When I show to your guests, it's something like a piece of art almost. 